Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you can join me again today for another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Accepted in the Beloved, February 16th. Look upon Jesus, sinless is he. Father, impute his life unto me. My life of scarlet, my sin and woe, cover with his life. Whiter than snow, come with his life. Whiter than snow, fullness of his life. Then shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe. Accepted in the Beloved To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved. Ephesians 1, 6 The Father gave all honour to His Son, seating Him at His right hand, far above all principalities and powers. He expressed his great joy and delight in receiving the Crucified One and crowning him with glory and honor. And all the favors he has shown to his Son in his acceptance of the Atonement are shown to his people. Those who have united their interests in love with Christ are accepted in the Beloved. They suffered with Christ in His humiliation, and His glorification is a great interest to them because they are accepted in Him. God loves them as He loves His Son. Christ. Emmanuel stands between God and the Beloved, revealing the glory of God to his chosen ones and covering their defects and transgressions with the garments of his own spotless righteousness. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in them that hope in his mercy. Psalm 147.11 but it is only through the value of the sacrifice made for us that we are of value in the Lord's sight. It is because of the imputed righteousness of Christ that we are counted precious by God. For Christ's sake, he pardons them that fear him. He does not see in them the vileness of the sinner. He recognizes in them the likeness of his Son, in whom they believe. In this way only can God take pleasure in any of us. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1, 12. The more perfectly the Lord sees the character of his beloved Son revealed in his people, the greater is his satisfaction and delight in them. God himself and the heavenly universe rejoice over them with singing, because Christ has not died for them in vain. The believing sinner is pronounced innocent, while the guilt is placed on Jesus Christ. 
the righteousness of Christ is placed on the debtor's account, and against his name on the balance sheet is written, Pardoned, Eternal Life. Reconciled by his death for my sin, justified by his life pure and clean, sanctified by obeying his word, glorified when returneth my Lord. Come with his life whiter than snow, fullness of his life, then shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe. Come with his life whiter than snow. Truly, we owe everything to Jesus. Praise God for his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening today. Please be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God richly bless you, especially today.